In today's video, I will show you how to use the Reddit API. Once you have everything set up, you will be able to make an API call to any of these endpoints listed here. For example, if we click on this endpoint here, this endpoint will return the identity of the user and all of the information related to it. To get started, the first thing we need to do is to go to this link here, and I will make sure to leave a link in the description. But once you're on this page, just click on this button that says, are you a developer? Then for the name, you can type whatever you'd like. I just did test for this example and make sure you click on script. And then in the redirect URI, you can just type in anything. I'm just going to use this example URL, then click on create app. Then we'll just keep this page open for now because we will need to access these two values later. Then we can just go to this link here. I will make sure to also leave this link in the description so yeah, you can easily find it. Once you're on this page, we can scroll down a little bit until you see this first curl example. Then we can just copy the curl command here. Just copy that entire string. Now I will open up Postman, but you can use whatever API client you want. If you don't have Postman already installed, you can just download it for free and then continue this tutorial. Once we have Postman open, we can just click on file and then import, then click on raw text and paste in the curl that we just copied and hit continue and then import. This API call will allow us to get our access token to use with a Reddit API. The only change we have to make is in the body. You just need to type in both your Reddit username as well as your password. Once you've entered both those values, we can now go to the authorization tab and replace the username with the value that we have on this page with the value that you see here. So just copy that value and paste it here. And then for the password, just copy the secret and then paste it here. Then if we hit send, we should now see a response with the value of an access token here. Now that we have the access token, we can make that API call that I showed earlier in this video. If we switch back to documentation and we go to the second example here and copy the curl, and go back to Postman and import the curl that we just copied by doing the exact same steps from earlier. The only thing we need to change is if we go to the headers tab inside the authorization, we just need to replace the value that you see here with our authorization that we got from the previous API call. So if we just copy this and then replace the value, then if we hit send, we should now see a response back from the API and we can see all the information related to our account. So we can now see things such as my display name, the number of coins I have, and all this other stuff that relates to my user account. If we go back to documentation, we can now see we're able to make all these API calls that you see here. So if I wanted to make an API call to see all the karma that's related to my account, I can easily do that by just duplicating this tab and then modifying the URL so that it matches what you see here. So I'll just do uh, backslash me backslash karma. So I just add karma and then hit the send button. And now you can see all the karma related to this account. But because it's a new account that I created for this tutorial, we're not going to see any data uh, for this right now. However, if we go back to documentation, we can do the same thing again, but now looking at the preferences for my account. So if I switch back to Postman and duplicate the tab again and just update this to say prefs and then hit send, we can now see all of the preferences that relate to this account. For the final API call, I will show you how to get data back for a specific subreddit. If we scroll down to documentation and we go to the section that says listings and click on new, for example, this will show us the endpoint that we need to hit to get all of the data related back to a specific subreddit. That's like the newest uh, post for that specific subreddit. So if we go back to Postman and just duplicate this request, and I just changed the endpoint URL to match what we just saw. So I'll just do backslash R and for the subreddit, I'll just do Apple followed by new and then hit send. And you can now see the results back from the API call. And here we can see the title of the newest article here. And then if we just keep scrolling through the data, we can see uh, various titles of all the newest posts in the Apple subreddit. And that is the final example of this Reddit API tutorial. If you want to make any additional Reddit API calls, you can just read through the documentation to better understand what API calls are available as well as what you need to pass in. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.